Hi, welcome to 4 Minutes of Film with me, Rihanna. Four films to review this week, Home, The Voices, Insurgent and The Gunman with an interview from Ray Winston. So let's start with The Voices. Ryan Reynolds plays Jerry, who has a crush on a girl at work, but he hears voices coming from his pets telling him to kill her. Will he kill again? Well, it's not stop soon, every indication is. He will kill again. You hear that, punk? Oh, no, 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 no. You're a killer. God. A serial killer. I don't want to be a killer. You're a stone cold murdering maniac. Told you so. Told me so what? Well, I told you you like killing. And now the cops, they say the same thing. It's a comedy horror that feels a little bit retro, a bit like The Guest or It Follows. And I love that Ryan Reynolds and Gemma Arterton and Anna Kendrick have all put their names to this quite small indie film. It gets quite dark and gory at times, but it's also very funny. There's an evil Scottish talking cat and Gemma Arterton's head provides some light relief when it all gets a bit much. So four stars for the voices. Next up, it's Home. O is part of an alien species called the Boove who come to Earth and relocate all the humans. O then makes friends with a young girl who is desperately looking for her mum. Gotcha! What for are you did this? I am Boove. I know what you are. Can I come into the out now? No, you cannot come into the out now. But I can. You are just having to take away the piece of wood. Big names have lent their voices to this film. J-Lo, who's hardly in it. Rihanna, who voices the lead. Tip, who is like the first black lead female for DreamWorks in an animated film. She's feisty, she's strong, she's independent, she's curvy, so I liked her. It's also got Jim Parsons and Steve Martin, whose character just seems to be a complete rip-off from King Julian from Madagascar. And that's the trouble with this film. It just feels like it's all been done before and much, much better. And it starts to grate after a while. I think this is for really young kids. So two stars for home. Next up, it's The Gunman. Sean Penn plays Jim Terrier, an ex-special op soldier who has to clear his name after he's betrayed by one of his friends. Sean Penn is a very believable action hero. He's got exhaustion and experience written all over his face and his character suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder which adds a new depth to his role. Ray Winston also makes an appearance who I am a huge fan of and this is what happened when I chatted to him. What would you do with Sean Penn on a night out in London? Where would you take him? I don't know about London but we had a night, night out about 10 years ago yeah? in, um, in Los Angeles. Uh-huh. And that was um, that was an interesting night. Out. What is Sean Penn really like in a night out? Oh, he's all right. He's a, he's good. He's yeah. good company. Yeah. He started rapping to me in poetry and rap, and I said, oh, "Sean, hold on a minute. <laughs> um, enough of the rapping, kid. Right? I can't I can't have the rapping, especially poetry." And he got the giggles, and you know, we had a good night. There were some good, clever action sequences, but I felt the cast were underused. Idris Elba was in it for like two minutes. And I am just bored of these middle-aged men doing this, oh, I'm so tired of it, action role. If you're so tired of it, then stop. So three stars for The Gunman. Finally, it's Insurgent. This is the sequel to Divergence. So Kate Winslet's character, Janine, is testing something on Divergence. Tris and Four need to find out what it is at the same time as fighting her takeover of their society. Tris, I think you should go to Erudite and kill Janine yourself. I'll stay with Caleb so that you don't get him killed, too. What? Come on, you know. Like you did your parents. Since The Hunger Games, we expect really strong female action leads. And in Divergence, that's what we got. In Insurgent, it felt like Tris needed rescuing at every corner. And the passion between her and Four is lacking quite a lot in this film. Bring back the old kick-ass Tris. The baddies were excellent, though. Miles Teller and, obviously, Kate Winslet. And I love that you found out about the other factions which you didn't know so much about before. So three stars for Insurgent. Next week, I'll be reviewing Cinderella, Get Hard and the new Spongebob movie. So click here to subscribe and catch that then.